Sometimes I get all wrapped up in myself. It would be better to just let go. But it's so hard sometimes to let go. The tree doesn't let go either, like... You grow attached. I do wonder about my friends, like, where did they wind up? It's hard. All there is to listen to here is, is really the wind. You start to pick up on the nuances of it, the way it, the way it caresses the bar. I try to anticipate where that next gust is gonna come from and like, maybe I can capture it. Maybe I can glimmer just a little bit more. I am overexposed. And the thing about the leaves and us is like, we both, we both enjoy the same sunlight. I guess I kind of, I feel bad because I have no way to give back, you know? Like, I wish there was a way for me to at least generate some energy, but I can't photosynthesize. They say that anybody can learn how to do it, but I feel like kind of a loser. When I'm really filled and full, and everything is just right, the sun is shining through my handles, and it's projecting this like banana shape onto my side, and it looks like a smile if you squint. There's a bag of hot air, except it's January, you know. I do have a degree of anger and spite for for the wind and the weather. I take the brunt of the elements. At least on a breezy day, you get noticed, right? Like people see you waving around and, and you get at least a little bit of attention. Advertising. I kind of do want to advertise. I want to advertise for something. I want to advertise for that patch of blue sky. I suppose it's all right being a maple leaf in a cedar tree. It's unusual. It's this kind of ingrafting. You start to feel at home after a while in, in the place that isn't really where you belong. Maybe it's like you're either alone or you belong, and neither of them are quite safe. It's a construction zone or something. So, like, that's why I'm here. To tell people to, you know, stay away. 
my main thing is that I feel kind of pretentious up here, you know, with this red. I understand that th this cross thing that I'm hanging on has cultural significance to a lot of people. Have you ever been crucified? On a cold day, the wind... I hate the cold days. I really hate them. I was trying to change my profile picture. I just wouldn't upload, you know. How do you face the day? So, I've been reflecting on how I am reflected. Because, like, I'm a petrochemical product, and this pond has petrochemicals floating on it. We are plastic, and we are everywhere. We've conquered the planet, basically. I talk to my reflection sometimes. We have conversations. We agree on just about everything. Trace it. Trace your finger along the contours of my, my skin, my entangled skin, the wrappings the wrapping paper. I present to you the orchard as a gift. It's all here, the ins and outs, the semi-translucence, the acquisition of dirt, the folds, the crumples, the mocking voice of the sky. It's all here. I am latent with endless patterns. Every frame of this video, one moment, one micro moment, one etched shape. I don't know how long it takes for, for plastic to deteriorate. Is there, there's probably oil inside of me. You know, they had to pump that oil out of the earth. So I came from down there and now I'm up here. It's a material world and I'm a material and I'm in the world. Just right at that moment when things are are aligned. And just from that one point of view, oh, the aesthetics of it. I'm exposed for all to see. I am overexposed. I am overexposed. Just hang on for dear life because what else is there to hang on for I got all these stretch marks in my skin how did I get here maybe on a super stormy day like maybe I'll break free Above me, there is this glow. There's nothing.